Hi, I'm Old Norse Specialist Dr. Jackson Crawford. At the suggestion of my friend and fellow old language YouTuber Luke Ranieri, I am going to do something I've never done before and that is comment on the Old Norse in a show. I don't think I've done that before. Luke suggested specifically that I look at some scenes from the TV show Vikings, which began I think in 2013. So as my brother says, if pop culture is at least 10 years old, I can start thinking about it. Uh, specifically, Luke sent me a video uploaded by someone named Swordfight Knight, which has some Old Norse speaking scenes. I'm just going to go through these, and uh, not all of them, I think the first four or something, just to sort of get a sense of what the Old Norse and the Vikings show is like. Hey, if you watch my channel and you enjoy this free content about Norse language, myth, and runes, you can support this channel by joining my Patreon, where you get exclusive interviews with experts in all kinds of arcane subjects, as well as just with me. I have a uh, cameo now, <laughs> where you can request a personalized all the best for someone. You can buy my books, or uh, I have a little merch shop attached to this YouTube channel. So, thanks for uh, considering supporting the channel, and all the best. Now, I might be about as close to a space alien as possible in terms of looking at the show. I've never seen it. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a show related to it. Um, I, I am in the DVD extras of the season two of Vikings, but I had never seen the show when I went on there and I told them that and they said we don't care, so. Um, so anyway, just so you know, I don't really know uh, what the context of the scenes is. Um, all right, so of the scenes that are in this video, I see uh, the first one just has one line. Somebody looks like he kills somebody else, maybe somebody who's injured. And he says, I, I think it is intended to be this, have thok, bro, they mean, have thanks, uh, my brother. Now, the subtitles in English help when I can't figure out what they're supposed to be saying in Old Norse. Uh, this is so short and pithy that it was fairly easy to understand, although I thought that the vowel in uh, uh, thok was a little too much like an English O, oh, you know, thok or something like that, probably from uh, the actor reading notes that weren't clear about what that vowel sound should be. We then have a longer scene in this video uploaded by Sword Fight Knight. Um, some uh, Norse speakers are talking to some old English speakers on a beach. Now, I will forego discussing the old English. I think it would be fun if Simon Roper would uh, uh, look at this, but uh, I'll just look at the old Norse. So we've got, mostly it's two guys talking to each other, and then there's a third guy who comes in to do like kind of just a third line. One of them says, uh, I, Again, I think the sort of intended Old Norse line is Hwat Seger Han. Sounds a little bit influenced by modern Icelandic. He uh, says Seyir, which is more like modern Icelandic pronunciation. In general, I kind of get the sense that I could be wrong about this. It'll be interesting to see if I am. I don't think any of these actors that I've seen in these scenes are Icelanders, right? Modern Icelandic is certainly the closest language spoken today to Old Norse. It's not identical, but the similarity of grammar and vocabulary is a major advantage for Icelandic speakers. And people often treat Icelandic as a stand-in for Old Norse. This isn't exactly modern Icelandic anybody is saying anywhere, but it seems like it's sort of like Old Norse heavily filtered through modern Icelandic, maybe on the actor's own initiative, right? They go looking for like Icelandic pronunciation guides, maybe from whoever did the consulting on the language, I don't know. But um, it often seems like it's not not quite Old Norse and not quite modern Icelandic. Um, all right, so then the other guy says, pretty sure this is pretty clear, 
han vil følge os og fund kongens hans. Only thing I'd really quibble with here is the the preposition a, the long a there. It seems to me like he's saying a, if I'm hearing what I think he's intending to be saying. Uh, he will lead us to a meeting with his king. Now this guy, this actor, I think is trying pretty hard at least to hit a consistent pronunciation. He sounds, I think, like an English speaker. Maybe he's a Scandinavian, I don't know. But he um, he seems to be really at least trying to be consistent, trying to sound like he's naturally speaking. Whereas I think that a lot of these guys talking Old Norse or Old English lines sound like, you know, middle schoolers presenting their uh, Google Translated report in middle school Spanish class. Uh, someone else, I think the first guy says, maybe snara erthat. It is a trap. Uh, snara, uh, which is obviously related to actually possibly the origin of the English word snare. It actually sounds more like he's saying snar erthat, but the best I can explain that in Old Norse would be snara erthat. Um, someone else, okay, maybe this is actually the original guy. I don't have the movie clip in front of me. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Um, all right, I think he's trying to say give agi gaum. That would mean don't give any heed, don't pay attention. But but he says like gom, not gaum, or guim in modern Icelandic. So, you know, pronunciation's way off. Atthvi, so don't give any heed to that. Don't pay attention to that. Um, and then it sounds like he says theramunu draupa os. That should be theramunu drepa os. They will kill us. Draupu would be past plural like they killed. It's a past tense. But it seems like everybody wants to say kill as draup, which is, again, past plural, right? It's they kill, but then the present would be, the root would be drep. Everybody seems to do this, and I'm not sure how this, like, seems to have traveled around the set that the word kill is draup rather than drep. Um, the other guy says, I think, this is actually, even with his fairly clear pronunciation, hard to, to follow. He starts off saying bid, some form of... It's, it's, it's a verb that means wait, and the subtitles indicate he is saying something like wait. And then maybe something like thought, fair at lera, like, or bithium thaw at lera, maybe we wait then to learn. I, I'm really I'm unclear about this middle part, but then he ends with a very clear huarvith erum, where we are. The interesting thing about this is I thought that his pronunciation of where sounded a little bit closer to my uh, American English huar. Okay, it's not exactly how I say it, right? I say where, right? W-H-E-R-E. -E. Um, and uh, the H-V in Old Norse probably indicates something similar to that, what. Um, so he's not saying the modern Icelandic kvath, okay? Which is what that word has become, a modern Icelandic H-V-A-E-D. But then he uses vid, which is the modern Icelandic word for we, not the Old Norse word for we. In Old Norse, he would be saying ver, if he's a West Norse speaker. Actually, if he's a Dane, you would expect him to be saying something like we at this point. Um, there's dialect differences in Old Norse, but I'm kind of ignoring that for this video because that would be getting too into the weeds. So I think it's interesting that he's using this, which actually comes from the Old Norse word vit, which means specifically we too, only two people. So again, this weird mix of Old Norse and modern Icelandic stuff. Another guy walks up and says something like, Ye er sauturolo. So probably, well, I think the subtitles indicate he's saying, like, I agree with Rolo. Okay. Uh, not exactly how I would say this. I mean, I, I understand the modern Icelandic phrase this is kind of being based on. He's also saying, Ye er, I think, is that what I'm hearing, which is modern Icelandic, I am, Old Norse, ek am. And then Rolo, that is a Latinized or Frenchized form of the Old Norse name, which is actually Hrothlaver, right? So you would expect an Old Norse speaker to be using the Old Norse form of the name, not that Frenchified, Latinized form. And then something, something, Draupathau, um, again with a weird past tense form of the verb to kill, and thou, and we've got very modern Icelandic pronunciations of those long A's as owl rather than Old Norse ol. Uh, something might be fair at la set nokra. 
maybe that's what he's saying for like they intend to set a trap uh it's not grammatically uh right it wouldn't agree with um well, set isn't actually exactly a trap. I guess seti could be a trap for an animal, but that's neuter, so nokara would be a feminine form of, of some kind of or any a some trap. Grammatically, doesn't work. And then we get draupum or something again. Like, everybody wants to say kill is draup. Um, but drepum thou, which maybe is what he's intending to say, would be we should kill them, We let us kill them. That would be okay. Then it kind of goes off into something I don't understand. <sighs> Someone says something like "vid komum vid Oh, I think he's talking to the Englishman when he's the, this is the, uh, the guy with a fairly clear pronunciation. He says like "vid kom vid there." That would be not the right form of "come" for using with "we." That would be "komum vid komum," and then "with" should be "med." Maybe that's what he's saying, and I'm just not hearing it right because you know just this pronunciation is still odd doesn't seem like a trained Icelandic or old Norse speaker then somebody says it's a trap again maybe snara er thought uh forum methane let's go with them that is actually good and even sounds like old Norse pronunciation as opposed to modern Icelandic pronunciation um and I think somebody says nay no so that's that scene on the beach uh, obviously, I have a lot of quibbles. I'll be back in just a moment after a quick word from my friends and partners at Grimfrost with some more remarks about a couple more scenes. All right, then there's this feasting scene. This is actually the hardest one to understand what anyone is saying because there's so much other noise. Um, there's a guy under a table who says something er mjok vel jort. So mjok, that is at least a Old Norse form as opposed to a modern Icelandic form. But then jort sounds like he's speaking, you know, some variety of Swedish or Norwegian um, as opposed to Old Norse gort, that G is still a G. I think another guy says corner eru ok. The women are also a little hard to. I, I can tell us what he means from the subtitle, but I'm not exactly sure that's what the old Norse is intended to be. Someone says skull. You know, the Viking Age, still to this day, Scandinavian toast, and drek, which is just a command, drink, telling somebody to drink. Someone says what a terrible noise, and I cannot understand a word of the old Norse uh, that's being subtitled there. Uh, something about a weird people. I can at least make out the first and the last word there, folked, which sounds modern Icelandic, as does the last word, underlect, like strange. Um, that is a modern Icelandic form with the lect rather than licked that I would usually expect in Old Norse, although dialectically maybe you could get lect at this time. Someone says, stop it, stop making me laugh. I'm trying to be serious. I cannot understand what he's trying to say in Old Norse because it's just too much adjacent noise. Someone says something, something, at ver the Christian, but he says it like, so that's like to become Christian, but he says it like Christian, right? It sounds like the English word. So I think that's an English speaker letting his native language um, bleed into the Old Norse. And then uh, the suspicious guy from the beach says, I think, Christian mother, thad vil yek. Christian man, uh, like I want to be that. Um, Almost sounds like Old Norse, although it would just be ek uh, for I. Uh, Ye is the modern Icelandic. All right, then there's a scene in a church with a priest. Someone says something like, Her ver havum prestin thera. Here we have their priest. Okay. Um, the, the, the vowel in, in, in havum, I'd expect havum or hivum if we're going for modern Icelandic pronunciation. I'm not quite satisfied with the pronunciation here, but I think that the grammar is at least less challengeable than some other places. Another guy says, Thu predikar emote goldum vaurum, using that modern Icelandic pronunciation of the long A, rather than vorum in Old Norse. You, you preach against our gods. I don't think that a Viking would ever have used the verb predika, preach. 
that is a verb that's introduced into the Christian vocabulary during Christian times in Scandinavia. Probably to say like you talk against or you, you know, you 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 slander something like that if if you cared about something like this. And he says some, some through sayer you say something something again using the modern Icelandic pronunciation of sayer like in the beach scene. But you are a liar and an old something. And through ert lye mother, ok gama. It sounds like he's kind of shooting for old Norse pronunciation here, but kind of hitting modern Icelandic too. Old Norse for liar, I would expect lugi mother, lie man. Uh, modern Icelandic lugi mother. The word old would be gamath, modern Icelandic gamal in Old Norse. I can't exactly even tell what he's shooting for. And then there's this next line where it sounds like gothinna is being used for gods. The gods would be gothin. I don't know where the ah is coming from if I'm hearing that right. I cannot hear the verb that he's trying to say for hate. Uh, supposedly he's saying, like, the gods hate you. I would expect hata or fjå in Old Norse. Um, but then it says, he says, like, en yek hata thick tho mera. So again, this sort of hybrid Old Norse, modern Icelandic form. Maybe they're shooting for a dialect of Old Danish, like yak for I, but it's probably giving a little too much credit. Um, but grammatically decent, I, but I hate you. Uh, though more, but then we get a grammatical error. Somebody says bind him, but he says bindahan. That's the infinitive form of the verb to bind. Um, you would actually say, like if it were let us bind him, it'd be bindumhan. Bind him as a command would be uh, bit singular or bindiv plural. Uh, we will entertain ourselves when I'm skimped to us. Um, I was skeptical initially that skemto was an old enough verb to show up in the Viking Age, but then I found it's in a bunch of sagas, so maybe it is an old enough verb, but it feels latish to me. Then we have a scene, this is the last one I looked at, uh, with a meeting between some Englishmen and some Norsemen. Someone says sit, uh, sitya, again we're using an infinitive here where the proper thing to do in Old Norse and Modern Icelandic is to use the imperative sitjith. Uh, an Englishman says, and so this is intended to be broken Old Norse, Adelstan, I think is how what he says, Adelstan hef kentmer noker orthen althino mole. The biggest problem here is the accent, the stress, which in that last word, well, the accent in all words in Old Norse is on the very first syllable, so it's mole, not mole. I, I guess it's any errors here are believably attributable to second language speaker, although Old Norse and Old English are so close that you wouldn't expect this kind of error, right? Old English has the same stress pattern and very similar inflections, but thin for your doesn't agree with moly, it would be thinu. Um, Nokr or then doesn't exactly agree because or then is definite, but um, maybe that's something an English speaker wouldn't understand because the articles work differently, right? There's some things here that don't quite ring true to me for being mistakes an Old English speaker would make. Uh, he says something like forgive I can't quite tell all of it, and then something like I can tell that he's shooting for something like forgive me for it if I don't speak right. But for the life of me, I can't exactly figure out what the words are supposed to be. All of them there, forgive in Old Norse is fyrgev. Not exactly sure how old that word is because it could be a uh, calc on the Old English introduced in the Christian period. And then uh, the actor, who's a uh, at least a consistently decent speaker, says in uh, I would say pretty pretty decent modern Icelandic, and vid erum hier til setjegrid. We are here to establish a peace, a truce, something like that. So overall, for a show that I've never seen, my impression from these what, four or five scenes is someone was writing. Old Norse dialogue. Um, maybe that same person was doing the coaching. Maybe the actors were mostly kind of looking the stuff up for themselves. They don't have a consistent sound actor to actor. And there's enough grammatical mistakes that I'm not sure that all of the translations are being done by someone who knows uh, what they're doing. But I'm not sure. Uh, it'll be curious to see if uh, you know someone out there sees this and actually knows what the story behind it is. And uh, and if my diagnosis is close to or far from the truth. But at any rate, thank you out there.
to those of you supporting my Patreon, buying my books, and uh, to everyone from beautiful Colorado, I'm wishing you all the best.